Crafty people, I think you know I was super stoked about the new Ooh La La collection from Knitwit Collections. OMG, I was so stoked about this. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to get started with it the moment that um, I received it. But I had already prepared my base for my explosion box. So it did come together quite nicely over um, all day yesterday. And this is it. It is a six by six by six explosion box. Um, you know, six inches across, wide, and deep. Um, this piece right here was at the, it, it's a plastic piece and it was gifted to me in my, um, I think my Christmas challenge. And I layered the paper on the inside and then I just layered this bling trim around the edge. But this, and this was already there. Then I layered a couple of appliques that I had in my stash. I cut apart some bling trim that I had in my stash for the corners, and that's what I did for the top. Of course, you can see the gorgeous paper under here. Oh my gosh, I can't even wait to get this open and show you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is the outside of the box. Um, the lid fits on. Nice and snug, but it's also, you know, easy to come off. Um, I used two different uh, pages or papers from the collection for the outside of the box. Um, this gorgeous one with the pink background and all the pink flowers. Then I layered this trim across where I sectioned it out and I used the, um, the striped papers for the upper portion of the box. Then here I layered some organza, pink organza trim that I had, just something I picked up at Michael, I mean um, Hobby Lobby, real simple. And then this gorgeous um, lace and fabric flower trim, um, I purchased a lot of that off of um, eBay. And so I just layered that and it goes all the way around the box. Let me show you at, let me see if I can, flip it over there is the bottom of the box and what I did was I just took these wooden um, balls and you can get these at Michaels and they're flat on one side so I spray painted them black and then I took the flat side I hot glued it onto this metal piece and then I hot glued the whole thing on so that my box would have feet and I love it because when this piece is displayed in whatever home it ends up being displayed in, it, you know, putting the feet on it just gives it more of a, uh, a decor piece feel to it. Um, so, you know, I will be honest with you. Explosion boxes are very hard to share. I have had people complain about my videos on sharing an explosion box but it is just a piece that is so awkwardly shaped that it is very difficult to share i'm going to pull the top off and show you that that's what it looks like on the inside is it amazing i i myself am amazed by it so yeah let me start in the center and show you that i had this eiffel tower in my stash 
and it is just a uh, Christmas ornament that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I pick up a lot of Christmas ornaments um, and just keep them in my stash, things that could be used for other things other than Christmas. Um, as you can see, I, I just did alter it a little bit. It already had bling on it, but I added the flowers and the different berry sprays. I added a, uh, a little ticket from the paper collection. And then on the other side, there is a postage stamp from the collection right there. And it says, Paris. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. Um, I'm going to probably put you on a tripod for a second because it's going to be very difficult to show you the next part. Um, I'm going to pull this out. What I did was I used a um, acetate that I had gotten in some kind of packaging and I made this wide area, there you go, um, so that something really thick could slide in there. And then I just used this um, ribbon that I had in my stash that looked kind of I don't know, to me it looked sort of fence-like. And I layered the gorgeous butterflies from the collection. There's this one. And I just did opposite, you know, the, the more black one and the more white. So each one of these is, each one of these little booklets that pulls out are the same, except they have maybe have some different papers, um, pattern papers on it. But each one has this pull out and it is magnetized and it opens like that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six photos on this side and six photos on this side. So that's 12 photos on one booklet. 12 and 12 is 24, and 24 and 24 is 48. So on this first, um, on this first layer of four by four squares, there is room for 48 photos. Yes, 48. <laughs> so really kind of cool. Now <clears throat> on the back, I just made room for one photo here or you could even just leave it like this because there's so much room on the other side um, each one has a slip out um, journaling tag you can journal on the front of this gorgeous tag from the collection and then you could also journal on the back as well so I'm going to slide that back in and each one um, opposite of each other so the one I just showed you is also there. And then this is the one here. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I mean, this collection is definitely ooh la la, that's for sure. <clears throat> All right, let me try to show you. Um, <clears throat> this is the next layer. And this one and the one across from it on this side are the same. So this is the five by five panel and I made an acetate, well, I had the acetate pocket, but I made it a shaker pocket, and I had two of these words, Paris, so I layered that across the heart, and I added um, the lace and the pearls, and you can see the, the great paper, and then this opens gatefold, and <laughs> I did some layering, um, I added another heart, and then this is a gorgeous Eiffel Tower with all kinds of ephemera, butterflies, flowers. Um, so that opens like that for a photo here. And then, let me set you down, sorry about that. 
sometimes things get a little stuck if you push them down too far. So there is this pull-out card. And it's kind of, oh, it's going to be so hard to show. Let me see if I can flip it around. Let me close up my my page and show you on the back. Is here. And this is the back of the 5x5. Five five. And, you know, I've layered my paper. I popped up my Eiffel Tower. Um, there's some bling trim across the top there and then let me tilt you up a little bit there are like accordion accordion pockets in here and I'm not going to pull them out because I'm having a hard time enough as it is there's two photo mats in there that are like four and a half by four and a half and um, another journaling tag. So, so pretty from the collection. So then here on our six by six panel, um, I did a really unique kind of sort of gatefold. Um, I layered the uh, lamp post from the collection and one of the poodles and your photo can slide underneath the poodle so it's you know it works just fine and then on this side I have another one of the lamp posts and this opens up like a gatefold as well and then of course it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult <laughs> um, this is a pullout you know, in the very beginning, everything is kind of kind of tight, and it loosens up as things slide in and out. And that is not wanting to come out for me at all. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties, as Linda would say. So here is <laughs> finally the pullout mat for in that pocket. And like I said, as things get pulled in and out, um, things do have a tendency to um, loosen up. So let me show you on the opposite side. Um, I already showed you this, that all four of these panels are the same except for the different color butterfly. This is my panel on the opposite side, and both panels opposite each other have the same hot air balloon, and I just love it. So this opens up gatefold as well. You've got another balloon on the inside as you open it up for your photo, and then some smaller photos can go here. Um, then you've got your pullout postcard journaling area love it so close that up and then let's then I can come over here and show you the back of it looks like this because that side looks just like this side and then again you have two um, pull out mats from this accordion fold pocket it's just two accordion pockets but there's two and then this pull out tag and then we have this bling trim from my stash and this beautiful cutout from the collection I just love it okay now let's go back to the other side and this is the other um, back panel that is a six by six panel and once again Oops, sorry about that, guys. Your photograph can go underneath here. So your photo can tuck underneath, and then, you know, the main part of your photo would still show. This is um, one of the postage stamps. I made it large and a ticket from the collection, and then I just layered this. 
um, that I had in my stash. So this opens just like the other one did. And there's room for a nice size photo there. And then this is another one of the tickets from the collection. And what I did was just cut it out and then I used my, um, my little hole punch and punched the ticket spots in it. And then the same thing with this one. And this one's probably going to want to struggle with me too. This is a pull out photo mat. Let's see if I can get this one to slide out easier than the other one. Oh yes. There we go. So that pulled out like that. So there is a lot of real estate in this album. A lot of times with um, explosion boxes, there's not really that much room for photos. But um, that was one of my goals when I was creating this, was to make lots of room for photos. Um, I used a very heavy-duty cardstock, not your flimsy. Um, it is, let me show you. It's 110 pound, but to me, it's much sturdier than a lot of them. Real happy with the weight on this cardstock. So I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope you've already picked yourself up this kit, but if you haven't, I'm going to link you in the description box down below. I'm going to give you a coupon code for 20% off your purchase. I highly, highly recommend not only that you get this kit, but you shop and get yourself at least one or two or more kits if you can do it. Because I don't get a coupon every time I do a project. Um, you know, coupons are sporadic. I don't know when you're going to get another coupon. So if you're excited about this collection, if you're excited about Knitwits, um, you got to go over and do some shopping and um, enjoy yourself. And remember, I'm going to tell you, I've had a lot of questions. Um, yes, once you buy the kit, those are yours to print over and over um, a million, a zillion, a Google Times. I mean, you can print it as much as you want. Um, you only have to print what you need so you don't waste paper. You don't have to worry about reordering. You don't have to worry about shipping. What you do need to get is... You know, my printer, I'm going to show you. My printer is, it's a really, um, it's big, but I think it cost me $199. So it's an Epson. It's called a Workforce, but I've used other smaller, uh, more of a tabletop type of printer. And um, I'm telling you, regardless, um it's still cheaper than ordering paper online and shipping it and all of that. Um, and then the idea that anytime you want to create something, all you got to do is print it. So wonderful. Um, so yeah, then you have to, you know, you have to purchase your ink. Um, but I always buy the extra large cartridges and I've been able to print. I wish I could tell you how many, but a ton. As far as paper goes, I buy the regular 110 pound cardstock at the office supply store. So just like you would buy a regular ream of paper for printing your normal stuff, um, you can buy the cardstock. Now you can print on the regular paper, depending on what kind of project you're doing and you want to print it on regular paper, you can use that. Um, I personally um, do prefer to print mine on cardstock. And the reason is, is a lot of time I like to distress it. And in order to distress it, you need that heavier duty um, paper. But a very cost effective way of having beautiful papers. And um, if you guys have any other questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. I'm also going to link you to some videos that actually I'll link you to the Knitwit um, Collections YouTube channel. Um, there are a lot of instructional videos for you there. If you have more questions um, that I have not answered, you're going to be able to find a lot of answers and instructional information there. Um, but I promise you, I am the least computer literate person probably than anybody. And if I can do it, you can do it. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know. Bye.